Hey YouTube, this is Tom with TK Designs. Have you ever wanted to stack text in a project but you weren't sure how to do it? Let me show you a method for creating stacked toolpaths that's simple and requires you to create only two toolpaths to stack the text. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by creating a new file. And for this file, I'm going to go with a width of 542 millimeters, a height of 152 millimeters, and a Z of 26 millimeters. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a frame. I'm going to do an internal radius of 15 millimeters. I'm going to go from the lower left hand corner drag it all the way out to the upper right hand corner and release it. Now we go ahead and do an offset on that in words to the left, 15 millimeters, and we're going to delete the original. I'm going to call that our offset. Now we're going to go rename our layer to our frame layer. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer for our bottom text, our top text, and merged text. For the top text, I'm going to call it TT. For the bottom text, I'm going to call it BT. And for the merged, I'm going to call it merged. Now we're going to go ahead and start by selecting our bottom text. When we close that, we'll see it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and insert my bottom row of text. I'm going to use a font called Nebraska. And I'm going to Type in the word Nebraska. This is for my dear old Nebraska U. We'll go ahead and close that. Then I want to resize this to where it takes up the bulk of the area. So I'll resize, press F9 to center it. Resize it a little bit more. F9 to center it. And that looks good. That's going to be our bottom text of our project. I'll switch over to our top text layer. And now I'm going to add text again, same font. And this time I'm going to type in EST period space. 1869, which is the year Nebraska was uh, established as a university. We'll go ahead and close that. And I'm going to make that text a little bit bigger. The reason I'm doing that is that I plan on cutting this with a quarter inch and an eighth inch end mill. And I want to make sure that I don't leave uh, any spaces that are too small for a one eighth or a one quarter inch end mill to dig into. Now I've centered it. I'm going to drag it down. And that's looking pretty good. All right. So next, I'm going to highlight both sets of those text. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy to layer. Right click, copy to layer, and we're going to copy those to merged. So 
So now we go up to our layers and we turn off our top text and bottom text. You'll see that our merged still has it. Let's go ahead and switch over to that layer. And then we're gonna take the word Nebraska and we're gonna convert that to curves and then we're gonna group it. Now we're gonna repeat the process for established, convert to curves and then group. Then we're gonna highlight both Nebraska and the established and we're gonna weld those together. Now that we've done this, we can move over and start making our tool paths. So for this, I'm gonna do a pocket tool path. I'm gonna have a start depth of zero and a cut depth of six millimeters. I'm using a quarter inch end mill and an eighth inch end mill to clear out our paths. Uh, we're gonna leave our offset in a climb. But the important thing is we're going to use the vector selector and we're going to select merged and frame closed vectors and associate with toolpath. Click on close and we'll call this bottom text. And we'll calculate out that tool path. And as we see now, our tool path will take out everything that is on the bottom row. So we'll go ahead and preview all tool paths. Let that run real quick. And what we'll see now is we have a six millimeter depth for our text. Go ahead and reset the preview. We'll click on close and we're going to create another pocket tool path. But this time we're only going to go three millimeters deep. And for our vector selector this time, actually we're gonna need to turn on our top text and bottom text. For a vector selector, we are going to, instead of doing merge this time, we're gonna do our frame and our top tool path. Associate those to the vector, and close. And we're gonna call this one top text. And we can go ahead and calculate that path. And now, wait, something doesn't look right there. Oh, frame and top text, okay. That looks like that's correct. Calculate that out. And let's go ahead and preview all tool paths. Again, and this should have us all cleared out and ready to go. It does take a few seconds for this to clear out all of the tool paths. And there we have it. And that's really all there is to it. Now the only thing we would have to do is send it to the CNC to cut. And that would be our project. Uh, do keep in mind you do have to complete other tool paths as well for maybe cutting out from the outside of your frame or any other texturing or anything else you want to do. 
This was simply to show you how you can get the stack text without having to uh, go through a lot of extra steps. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and comment. Uh, if you have a different way of doing it, feel free to comment on that as well. I'd really like to hear how everyone else does their stack text. Uh, see you next time on the channel and keep on carving.